everyone. I've popped in and I'm going to do um, an experiment because it's my first time using a White House paint. And I have leftover paint from a disastrous pour yesterday. So I actually thought I would trial using the house paint uh, with a couple of different um, styles on here just to see how it goes, see how it dries and have a bit of a play. Okay, so get straight to it. This house paint is from Bunnings. It's spring brand and it's interior low sheen acrylic white clearly uh, so I, I have no idea I'm really excited to see how it turns out and I have mixed it with a, my pouring medium and some water to thin it and you know it's just trial and error so a bit of an experiment to see how it goes if I like working with it and whatnot yeah so and I've just been watching some other very talented people on YouTube and <laughs> was all pumped. I got up off my chair and I went, right, I'm going to Bunnings. Um, <laughs> and I kind of came to the table. So <laughs> I was like, oh, just have a play before you go out. So that's where this idea came from. And because I love Bunnings, I, I look at things and I look at it and I go, I wonder if I can make that. So quite often I'm at Bunnings buying wood, buying a new bit for the drill, looking for specific uh, items to add to something you know it's just as always always a really good reason to go to Bunnings yes Bunnings I love you okay now it does seem a little thick still uh, let me see run it around and see if I can save some oh no <laughs> okay I'm really great at missing the cup so that's okay I gave it a shot and I think I just put my canvas out of whack for where I had it lined up all nice and leveled out no problem, right? Okay, so clearly I'm going to be all messy because I can't find any of my cloths. So I'm going to, on one section, spray, do a flip and drag with my Motor Tech silicon spray. Spritz the little cup. I'm going to pour some of this in. So this is just what I scraped up from the table and I'll put it aside and oh look that's what I didn't realize. That's okay. I'm flipping onto white paint. Ta-da! See don't think about it just do it. Oh, it's leaking. 
That's okay. And I had a big blowout right here, so. That's the benefits of the silicon. It just pretty much pulls away from the plastic. Lovely. And I already have cells. Can you see? Oh dear. A little. Apparently, I had a lot more paint in there than I thought. I'm not leaving myself much room to do the other stuff. So, let's see. Still filling in a little bit there. I'm going to do a ribbon. I'll go this way. Because there is something I want to try. I went shopping the other day and I found da, 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 a dog, cat, brush, comb, comb. So I thought I want to try this with the combs and see what if it I like the effects. This is really kind of pretty. I haven't even torched it yet, but that's okay. I'm just playing. Put in there. That's kind of cute. I have to wipe off in between. Yeah, I like it. But it would have been better if it were a straight line and I could come off a straight line. A bit like this. Oh, very nice. I do like that. Very nice. And then, you know, because there's so many things that you can actually use to enhance the pore. Okay. I think I need to find something. How about, no. Okay, we'll just do this again in this little bit. Yeah, that's better. Because I was thinking about blowing that through a straw. Then I thought, no, because this is so beautiful. Okay, let's torch. I really love that. I'm very happy. I can still see some bubbles, which is a little bit frustrating. The only silicon I believe was in the in the little shot glassy thing for the flip and drag. Um, the rest is clearly how it's 
um, reacting with the house paint or PVA. And let's just give it a tilt. I'm going this way. I kind of want to lose some of this off the side. And now I aim to take off some of this really muddy section there. I'm losing most of my flip and drag. So it's all right. It'll kind of <laughs> those lines look awesome. Hope that focused for you. Okay, there is something here I'm not sure I like. This red blob. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, these gloves are terrible. Oh. Um, because it is an experiment, so I'm going to see how it dries. See how the house paint continues to react or not with the paints that I'm using. Sorry about the noise on that. Just give it another torch because there are a couple of little bubbles popped up. Okay, I'll be back with you um, shortly to see how it's dried, what effects has been created. And I really, really love this. So, all right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back with you soon. Bye for now. Okay guys, so it's finished, it's dry. I've been very impatiently waiting to finish the video. So this was my first experiment with house paint. And it was a low sheen acrylic. So you can see it's very matte. Coverage was good, no cracks. I do, however, have some lumps, so I need to stir it a bit better, I'll work that out, but yeah, I'm happy with it, so, and these lines, these lines look amazing, just as amazing as when it was done, as to when it was dry, so, okay guys. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.